ゲーム。Welcome to another exciting episode of Video Game Bang. Your weekly source for all things video game. Featuring your fearless hosts, Corey Vincent. I'm pretty much、uh, Microsoft and Marvel. The cans are on. t h e ish gets real. You can get look- shot during the day. And Aaron Carter. By the armor, I equip it, and it's like pink thong. The guy that delivers vending machine items in my, my job, he can play <laughs> the r i g h t Fill up your Mountain Dew and grab your Doritos. It's time for Video Game Bang. What is up, my pizzas? La sede es absolutamente real. Es s e Pablo Escobar, 2016. My name is Corey Vincent. You are listening to the Video Game Bang Podcast brought to you by Energy Zus Esports. Also brought to you by the good people at Oblivion Comics and Coffee. Come on the coffee. <laughs> I mean, no. Whoa, whoa. That was wrong. Sorry, I, I, was in a, I was in a flow state and then I got abruptly stopped because、uh, I'm going to do a little stunt live on the podcast, ladies and gentlemen.、Uh, and,、uh, you know, I, I, I like to do stunts. I think they're, they're worth doing on the podcast. Aaron, are you interested to know what my stunt is?、Uh, semi.、Um, have you ever heard of kombucha?、Uh, yeah, it's disgusting. Is it? Is that、yes. fermented mushrooms? I think it is. I think, I think the word you're looking for is fermented. What did I say? Fermented? Yeah, they, they ferment it for four months. That's fermented. Mi- oh, okay. It's from the Greek four for, months. Fermented four times. Boom. Nailed it. Fermented, okay. Yeah.、Uh, I never have either. I, I was perusing the, the drink section at the local grocery star. star and,、uh, <laughs> We're on point today with that. Yeah.、Our- and、uh, I found this thing. It looked interesting. It looked,、uh, it's called a health aid kombucha, a bubbly probiotic tea. And it's ginger and lemon. And so,、uh, I'm going to be drinking that during the show. We'll see.、Uh, so you've never had it before. You've never, never had kombucha before had at all. And why did you decide to now? I, I like to live dangerously. It's the day before Thanksgiving.、Um, and、uh, I wanted to, I don't know, I thought it'd be fun. Fun little thing for the show. Probiotics are all the rage. You, you, I'm damn near 30 years old. You've got to be thinking about that、you、stuff. You just have yogurt. Well,、okay. I mean, if you're.、Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you've been watching them. Activia. <laughs> There you go. Um, let's introduce my panel.、Uh, he's my co host, my best friend in the whole world. I'm so thankful on this time of thanks for this man. Aaron Carter, how's it going? It's going quite well. Going quite well. You don't have a soundboard for that? Uh, <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's going quite well. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I said something nice about you. Usually it's customary in these situations for you to. If you、uh, say go into、nice. saying or doing things nice for other people just to get reciprocation,、it's、you're the, not doing it for the right reason. That's the only reason I ever do anything、And、nice. See, that's, you're not doing it for the right reason. Damn. So. Well, I'll still hold out for that. You got、um, a year of、uh, reflection to think about that. <laughs> so I've ruined it for a year? That's, what, that's the rules, man. I don't make the rules. All right.、Uh, he's also on the show、uh, wearing the Into the AM hat,、uh, as I am wearing the Into the AM sweater.、Uh, we're both all jacked up on our gamer subs. These are subtle,、uh, subtle ads for you people. <laughs> Subtle advertisements because that's how we make money. Subliminal advertising. Notice how when you download this podcast, it doesn't charge you any money. We got to make the money somewhere, baby. And that's why we wear this stuff and do these things.、Uh, how you been, Webb? I've been doing good. You've, doing been, good.、Uh, you've been on a new little life quest, it feels like. Yeah. You're、uh, into the arts now. Into the arts. Yeah. Trying to find a,、um, a hobby. A besides, hobby. Besides this. I was going to say, yeah, because <laughs> this one fills up most of your time. Yeah. So,、uh, yeah. Doing、um, adventures, taking pictures,、um, trying to do,、uh, like, actually learn the camera settings. Not just though in automatic mode, but doing manual all the way. Yeah.、Um, you're going to have to kind of dial it down a few notches. Okay. I'm not good. I know. I'm putting people to shame. No.、Uh, I don't care about the photography. <laughs> It's actually pretty good. I don't, but besides that, I mean, like,、uh, I guess. On the last weekend, maybe you just woke up early and surprised your wife and said, Hey, babe, we're going to Tahoe. And you took her on this magical mystery tour of、uh, the magical <laughs> land of Lake Tahoe.、It's、and Frozen she, Lake. And then she comes home and talks to my <laughs> wife and says, Oh, 
do you know what David did? Oh, they woke up early and went on a magic trip, all unexpected and spontaneous. Why don't we do stuff like that? Hey, why aren't you spontaneous, Corey? Because I don't, I don't have time to be spontaneous. Because so, <laughs> just for all, for everybody who Jamie talks to, please just dial it down. You know what? I think though, at least on one occasion, the same situation has happened reversed. That's not true. I, East Coast trip. Oh, well, that was like one time of our entire lives. It's happened before. Okay. So so we're on even ground. We're on even ground. I mean, it's cool. <laughs> Treat your wife right. Do the right thing. But space it out a little bit. Space it out a little you, bit. You did okay. your good thing. Sounds good. Put her through hell like the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I can bring the bar back down low. Yeah. That I, way I have room to grow. I'd appreciate I it. Okay. I'd, I got you. I'd appreciate it. I got you, fam. Um, there's a lot going on in the world, uh, so much stuff in the world of esports, but, uh, what everybody is focused on right now should be the lovely time of Thanksgiving. Aaron, do you have any great Thanksgiving traditions that you like to, uh, do with your fam? I do the same thing every year. I go to Stockton, I eat food, I come home. Uh, do you guys still deep fry the turkey? Oh, no, no, yeah, we've been doing that for 10 years. And I don't understand it. How does it not just pop and explode? Uh, you don't put it into boiling grease. <laughs> okay. Can you please explain it to, to the uninitiated? All you have to do is just get the turkey and have it somewhat thawed or thaw all the way. Heat your, your oil up at a certain degrees and then slowly dip it in there. Test it uh, by just slowly dipping in there. You actually dip it in first all the way, lift up, and then dip, dip all the way back in there so it doesn't, yeah. It's, Otherwise, it can explode. Yeah, a That's turkey a can explode. Well, anything frozen, yes, anything thrown, frozen into, thrown into thrown into hot grease. Oh well, I didn't think up. you would be frozen. I yeah, don't know yeah, why. Yeah. I, I assumed just, it would be thawed. Oh, uh, not me. I thought you just pull it out of the freezer and just kind of dunk it. Well, because no, you don't no, even no, do that no, with no, an no, oven. No. You don't. You you have to let it thaw. Never cooked a turkey. Couldn't tell you. Neither have I. <laughs> just, just no thanks. <laughs> Aaron, the man of the house over there, right? You have all women. Are you the? Do you actually do the cooking of the turkey? No, my aunt does. Oh, okay. She carve it. She no no we don't we don't carve a turkey we don't like sit at a giant table and carve everything like that that's not how the Carter family gets down. Do you say grace beforehand? We always say grace. Yes. Um, we so what? Wait, do you at least do that part? What say grace? Yeah. I haven't said grace since I was a little kid. I thought it would be like you know for some reason I imagine you the patriarch of the family. Aren't you the oldest male? No, no, I'm by far not the oldest man. <laughs> I thought in my you were family. getting up there. No, in my immediate family, like from my mother, yes, I'm the oldest male. But there's well, so you're many the only male. Older... Oh no, you got your brother. No, my little brother. There's so many uh, older Carters. Yeah, I'm. I'm like, jeez, I might be f- fourth now that my little brother's here. Up. Well, yeah. I-, I was thinking since this is a time of thanks. Uh, I already said I was thankful for you, Aaron. Uh, you did not return the favor. I told you. I told you, sir. As the patriarch of this podcast, though, uh, I Who would. The hell's Webb? No, the hell's... no, you. You're the oldest. Is that what you that's think true. patriarch means? Yeah, patriarch's like the oldest guy. I think that's. <laughs> Is that true? I think that's semi accurate. Can we Google it? I know it's. I know it's tough because it's coming from Corey, but I think yeah. it's semi accurate in this scenario. Yeah. You're the the older male figure, patriarch, kind of the most responsible. I would like you to lead the podcast in grace. The male head of a family or tribe. Yes, that's Aaron. Oh, if... so I mean, I yeah, by logic, you would think the head would be the oldest and male. the one who would lead this podcast into grace. So, well, every, I mean, everyone, bow your heads and uh, Aaron, please, uh, before we really get into this. Is this podcast. to the energy Jesus? Yes, please. Or RNG. <laughs> RNG Jesus. Definitely would never <laughs> pray to that. RNG Jesus. <laughs> You're not going to pray to, to Enter Jesus? No. <laughs> definitely <laughs> wouldn't pray to I, everyone, I guess I should take off my I hat. will. I will give a good. Uh, um, um, let's, let's keep it neutral like the. The holiday people does, you know, yeah. Xmas. Yeah, we don't, yeah. we, we don't want to alienate anybody. Exactly. But, but, but go ahead. Lead, exactly. us, lead us in video game bank prayer. Um. And then you calling it prayer. That's even making it more. <laughs> you can't. You can't call it anything. So I'll give a good rousing uh, s- quote speech. There we go. That you can uh, take me uh, for, I guess. Completely agnostical. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Completely agnostical for for those listening at home. Agnosticals. That's probably a word. 
Um, the year is almost over, and there are plenty mm. of games to be grateful for. Mm-hmm. Not Destiny 2. Mm. Uh, there have been highs and there have been lows in the gaming and geek community. Yes, There have Lord. been scandals. Mm. Mm-hmm. And good times. <laughs> yes, there has. Uh, but now it is all in the past. Mm-hmm. So we're now looking forward to a 2018 yeah. of even better, better times Ooh. in the geek and gaming community. Preach it, sweet baby Mario. That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's about it. Yeah. That's as agnostic as I can keep it. <laughs> God, dude. Great job. I'm pretty sure that the... Uh, Podcast gods, wherever they are, are uh, smiling down on us. Oh, there they are right now with the What You Playing theme song. It's a little quieter than it used to be, yeah, but uh, there on. it is. That's it. Aaron, you did a great job summoning the What You Playing gods. Uh, so much so, they would like to know what we are playing. So starting with my man, David Wizzle, what you been playing? First of all, we decided... With uh, Garrett Jizzle, you're no longer making nicknames. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Jizzle and Wizzle are the two ones that you've come up with. Um, I have been playing Destiny, and that's it. I haven't jumped back on Overwatch this week yet. So, so what's Destiny. your addiction level to Destiny? Is it a game you have to play every single day, every couple days, once a week? Probably at least once a week. Maybe every couple of days. It depends on how, like, because I know at this point, like, I'm in no illusion. I know it's a grind where I'm at at this point. So it kind of just depends on if I want, if I feel like grinding or not. If I don't feel like it, then I'll grab something else. But um, I'm trying to get up high enough to do start doing some raids and not die instantly. So. Is that the difficulty level? Are you still at a point where you will just die if you go into a raid? I will survive a lot longer. Um, I'm at 284. Raid is recommended to 70. So I'm I'm above the recommended level, but like you, there's most people are in like the 300, 305 range. Is it so, the same as the old days where everybody's like rocking the same three or four guns? No, there's a lot of different guns. I mean, there's one gun that most people use, um, the Mita multi tool, and it's solely because uh, you know when you point down. The site, your radar disappears. Well, with that, the radar dis- dis- doesn't disappear. So you still have your radar. So especially PvP, is that's a huge gun to use in PvP. Um, there are better guns that will do more damage, but the sheer fact of having that radar so nobody sneaks up on you is like gold. Have you actually been playing the PvP at all? Uh, yeah, I do, actually. Um, I've been doing a lot better than I did in Destiny 1, so that's good. But um, yeah, it's fun. All right. Well, uh, Aaron, do you even want to bother uh, poking holes in this game anymore, or have you said your piece? The, the, I mean, there's no way you can poke holes in a crater. It's just, it's already a massive hole. Aaron, this Kool Aid is so good. You have to try it. Yeah, I bet it is. <laughs> You're racist. <laughs> I said racist. Wow. This Kool Aid. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know what? I see how activate uh, my activate yeah. your trap card. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> God. Wow. Aaron, what you been playing? Uh, I got back on um, Warframe because the new expansion came out. The uh, planes of, I call it the planes of Illidan. I don't care what anybody else says. Is it just because the, actually called? Is it because the word is too hard to pronounce? Uh, yeah. yeah. Don't make up new stuff, guys. Just just go with real, <laughs> real stuff. Warframe. <laughs> so it's these made up words. Eidol- yeah. Eidolon. Yeah, it's it's planes of Illidan. Um. But me and Noel got in there, and uh, I thought I was going to be like some type of beast because I got my character maxed out. I got my weapons maxed out. And I was like, man, I'll run you through this. This is early level stuff. And we go out there and get smashed uh, to the point where we're limping back. Cause so, so what it is is normally Warframe, you just go from level to level, and you run a level, and then you go back to your ship and leave. That's right. how everyone how it's always been. This one, this new expansion, which is free, by the way, everybody, Um it makes it open world. So you go to like the little starting city where it's like a, a giant bazaar and you can buy things and do like pick up little quests and stuff. And then you go to the open world spot to go do the quest. And it's a big expanse of a world. Uh, and then things randomly pop up, questions, everything, you know, there as well. So 
we go out there to do the very first quest. Mm -hmm. And they drop ship like these enemies. And we're just like flipping around like ninjas throwing stuff. I get dropped. And I'm like, freaking wow, what the hell? Like, did I just not pay attention to my HP? But no, these enemies are just, you know, stronger than me. And they're just dropping me left and right, dropping me left and right. So we were like, we got to get the hell out of here because we can't. We can't beat this yet. War, so. Warframe is a free to play game, right? Free to play game. Actually, I need to log back on. See, the, uh, so I saw an article where they were talking about Warframe might be the perfect game. One wrong, uh, and two, it's um, a very good game. It's really popular. Yeah, right? like people like um, Paige Jennings is playing Warframe. Who's, yeah, but wait, Paige Jennings. I don't know who that is. Uh, she where, is. Where would a, I know her from? Uh, YouTube. She uh, streams games from your. Searching online or browser history, yeah, huh. exactly. Are you sure she hasn't done anything else? I would have uh, recognized her from. Uh, do you watch the stocks? She used to work on Wall Street. Oh, did she? Yeah. Oh wait, let me Google her. Yeah, go ahead. Oh my God! You probably just still found her just regular page because it's kind of that's her LinkedIn profile. Yeah. <laughs> Those are breasts. <laughs> oh. So anyway, uh, yeah, I've been playing that that DLC. <laughs> I could just hear everybody rewinding the podcast. What was that name again? Writing it down, uh, and it's a uh, it's good. She's she's quite talented. It's a good guy. I've never seen her play it. Uh, Web has apparently. I she, just follow her on Twitter. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that's it. That's it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sometimes her stock quotes, but that's about it. Okay. Um, she'd be great to have on the show. Yeah. Uh, before I go, I'm gonna try finally some of this kombucha. Um, do we have a drum roll? I've been uh, clip. No, I don't think we have nope. prepared. This is the right. only sound effect I have. Damn, that's the only th- sound effect I could do, so. <laughs> We're kind of limited. Smells. Okay. Hello. How are you? All right. <laughs> that was, I couldn't have made that sound effect any more perfect. That was, yeah. <coughs> oh, God, yep, that's there fucking it is. gross. Who told you to drink that? I did. I just saw it, and it looked okay. It like the the marketing they they hooked me. It says health aid, so I saw the word health, and I'm like, hey, I want to be healthy. I saw kombucha. I'm like, I don't know that word, but I've heard it. And then it said ginger lemon, and I was like, that sounds interesting. And that's why I did it. Look, look at that. Look at the bottle, dude. Yeah, it looks disgusting. It looks like. I it mean, looks like it looks like one of those tonics that yeah old, old school people, tonics yeah, yeah. They used to go yeah, around yeah, yeah. selling and tricking people that it was gonna fix their trick knee and like come right along yeah look at the tonic no, I the just guy have with for the big you. top hat exactly. and the mustache yeah on the stagecoach snake tonic it's actually pretty good in uh, second type second go around um you know I haven't been playing too much I did finish Super Mario Odyssey which uh, is actually the first game <laughs> that I've completed in a while. Although I have to go back and collect uh, a lot of the moons. The, the ending was so disappointing. It was the most disappointing ending. And I didn't think a Mario game could disappoint me with an ending. And then they surprised me. Because it was so dumb. But the end game so far has been amazing. So if you are listening to this and you own a Nintendo Switch, I'm going to go out and say it. It's better than Breath of the Wild. Okay. I can hear. I, yeah, I'm like, I'm not gonna disagree. Like, <laughs> I, I haven't played uh, either of those two, and they both look like amazing games. So, I, I mean, they are both good, but for some reason, like, w- when I played Breath of the Wild, my favorite part was going into those shrines because of the little puzzles and stuff. Okay, mm-hmm. puzzles weren't too challenging, but they were puzzles nonetheless. Mario, the whole game, each level is like a puzzle, and there's so many moons spread around. That the game rewards you for like taking your time. Every time I see like a corner or something that's like, hmm, that that kind of seems suspect. You walk over there and you could find this new mystery that leaves you down to pick up some new moons or do a new puzzle. Like the game just keeps on surprising you with how much there is to do. I revisited the very first place. When I first played the game, uh, you start off in this like little hat world. It's super simple. It's basically the tutorial. Mm-hmm. I rush through it. Still amazed by what you're doing. You throw your hat on the frog, and you're like, whoa, now I'm a frog, and you're just learning all the mechanics. First place I went back to after I beat the game, and it was way more in-depth than I remember it. There was so much more to do around that world. So I've spent, like, at least two or three hours just 
in exploring that first one, trying, Holy to, crap. trying to get all the moons I could find. And then I'll go to the next one. And it's the not a big one. area, too. It's not that big. No, it's just normal. Huh. So I, I, I think that's one of the best games. I think it's game of the year. I'm going to be honest. Well, it's got a good contender since it's coming out at the end. Yes, that that's definitely in its favor. And, like, because what other games have come out that could even threaten it? I think Breath of the Wild's up there. Um, I don't know what else came out. Destiny that's an, 2. was kind of forgettable. Destiny 2's a compen- Again, forgettable. A Mass Effect Andromeda. Again, forgettable. I don't know. I'm running. They were both them. remembered. Those last two games both remembered for being bad games. Mm, remembered by you. I mean, Andromeda. You're right, but just letting you know. Google. Just letting right you know. Best games of 2017. AC Origins. I bet you will probably be a contender. Oh, Horizon might as well. Oh crap! That's yeah. right. I forgot about Horizon. Get all the liberals. No, they're gonna be all. That's not enough to all that, the girl power. That, that wasn't enough. That that game wasn't enough to get game of the year. You don't think so? No. Because it, it was it was very it was very um, fireworky like it just shot out was bright for a second and then just okay that's cool. I think the biggest issue that that game had was it came out right around the time of uh, Breath of the Wild and so you had a lot of people that were bouncing back and forth and there were things that you could do in Breath of the Wild that you couldn't do in Horizon Zero Dawn which sounds weird that that's a comparison but climbing. Climbing a cliff, you could do that in Breath of the Wild. You can't do that in Horizon Zero Dawn. So I saw a lot of people saying that they were getting thrown off, jumping back and forth. So that's the only thing I could see of why it might get overshadowed. But uh, overall, I think it was a good game. Is Cuphead considered indie? Uh, yeah. Is that going to yeah. bring home all the indie awards? Probably. I Even mean, though I don't feel like it's an indie game. I feel like it's... Yeah, I don't feel like it's an indie game because it's been promoted for like six years and like, I don't know, it got like mainstream promotion. Uh, but it's fun to watch on Twitch and I definitely want to play it. I'll probably, it'll probably be one of those games for me. I buy it at a Steam sale in like five years for $3. Yeah. Uh, chat saying PUBG. There PUBG, you go. But isn't that still an I think early it's access? Alpha. I think it's, yeah. Yeah, it's not released, so it yeah. can't really. It can't be game of the year. Yeah. yeah, that's like, that's cheating if they try and pull awards because then they'll be like, oh, next year. Oh, we're still in early access. What, what about getting? Fortnite? Is that out? out? No, because no, it Fortnite's says it's going to be released 2018. Oh, that's true, yeah. yeah. So other ones, For Honor was another flash in the pan. Yeah. Um, that game was disappointing. Excuse me. Well, and and their support of it, Ubisoft's support of it right. as an esport, because it was one of those games that they came out and were like, "This is esports," and they had all these celebrities. Yeah. And then the tournament scene has just got slaughtered by terrible updates and and bad servers. It was just yeah, it, it has wasn't so much potential. Um, what else is out there? Shadow of War. They're okay. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now, That's now we're talking about actual video games. Now <laughs> we're cooking with gas. Uh, Shadow of War is one, though, that people were excited about. It came out, and I know people who've put a billion hours into it, but it's just not, it doesn't have that wow factor. What it would, oh, well. That factor of like, oh, everyone's it's a talking sequel. about it. Because it's a sequel. No, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, it is. No, GTA could put out a game anytime, and it has that wow factor. GTA has a, uh, or origin, uh, an origin in being amazing. That game had an origin in being, oh, this is just a good game. And then a sequel to a, you know, it's just a good game, only gets, oh, eh. this game is good too. Okay. Sergeant Squiggles in chat saying that uh, PUBG has already been nominated as Game of the Year. Really? I don't understand yeah. how right. if it's well, not out, though. We I, just giving, we just handing them out, though. We just, yeah. okay, this is what we do. I'm going early access, but, you know. I have a game that's nominated for Game of the Year. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't be upset if it won. I would. I If it won this year, as long as it can't run next year or, you know, try and win again. Like, if it, if it's game of the year, fuck it. It's game of the year. Is it out? Yeah. Are people playing it? Yeah. Is it the best? Maybe. If people think it is, it should win. El Jefe sums it up perfectly. Shadow of War was cool. See? That's because that's, <laughs> yeah, that's just how it was. You know, like it wasn't as spectacular. I mean, it was probably like a really good game, 
but it's not going to get that hype or you know big thing because it didn't start off in greatness. GTA did, and that's why his next comment, GTA still better than most games released this year. Because it started off in greatness and continued the tradition. So, boom. Oh. I think you started something, Aaron. Uh, I apologize, everybody that's listening. Um, I'll take full responsibility for this one. This one's on you. Yep. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what was that? I have no idea. Really cut bang, these. Bang. Cut these to. The intro was as least, long. Yeah. The intro was as long as the theme song. And even longer than the segment. Because <laughs> Rob's gonna ask the question, go over the three things. I'm like, yep. Yeah. There we go. And that was the. Uh, there we go. That was the. Uh, that was the thing. Okay, we did something. How do I go to? We do our best and never. Yeah, this is way too long. Did he? Never mind. Oh, you know what? I was gonna download that. It made me realize my pride. Hey, good looking El Jefe. He said I was right in chat. <laughs> like the first time you get tortured and then you get tortured like a week later yeah that like was of course the brain bang theme song and that's our show everybody yeah thank you for uh, the entirety out. exactly of the episode <laughs> exactly I, I was thinking about adding another verse i think oh you should God. subtract at least two verses um would you have said that to to, to freddie mercury when for the first time he played uh bohemian rhapsody yeah Absolutely. If not. it was a segment in his podcast, I would. <laughs> no, when you have a piece of art that is that great, I'd be like, Freddie, cut it. All right? Get that stuff out of here. I don't think Jeez. you're uh, appreciating my genius. That's literally AIDS to my ears. Wow. Oh, wait. He he died of AIDS, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Wow. That was so heartless. Wow. Terrible. <laughs> Damn. Absolutely All right. tasteless. This week's brain bang question is not multiple choice. This one is an essay. This is a, oh, I was going to say, it's dictatorship all the time. <laughs> so no. I like this game. No, this I don't one, care. This one, uh, I wanted uh, some actual details. And uh, with Thanksgiving coming up tomorrow, there's a lot to be thankful for. But uh, one of the things that uh, I am always thankful for is that one family member who does not understand video games and or esports. I don't know whether it's an uncle, a grandfather, somebody in your family is going to take that opinion of esports is not a real sport. It's just video games. If they're not cr- smashing into each other or dunking a ball in a in a goal and a and then doing a, a wrestling thing with a spike thing sports, then it's not sports. What um, sports does your family watch? Uh, you know, the kinds with the ball and you throw it and you kick and it and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, volleyball, a lot of volleyball. <laughs> volleyball. Um, so I wanted to know what's the best way to describe esports to your family during Thanksgiving, if the topic even comes up. Aaron, do you, people? Does your family even talk to you about video games? Or Not would there, at all. Would there be a situation where you try and describe esports? Not at all. If you did, how would you do it? I would tell them think of um, playing video games, but just in a manner that you want to win always. Yeah, but it's not sports. Why don't they call it something else? They wouldn't. Argue that they you don't think they would. I have no very, one in your family. I have a very forward thinking family. The Carters are very forward thinking. <laughs> the Carters are very like yeah, you. You think I'm just jesting? No, it's pretty much they're they accepting, would, huh? Yeah, I brought the Wii over the house uh, when it first came out, and my grandmother was like, uh, "You're gonna be rich, Aaron, because this thing <laughs> that you created is amazing." <laughs> and I was like, "Grandma, this is no." Thank you, Grandma. Would you like to invest in yeah. it? <laughs> She was like, this thing, she like, see it being played all over the place. I'm like, yeah, but not. I didn't make this grand. Grammy was very forward thinking. I'm telling you, that's, that's, the, that's the Carter family. It's the Carter way. Yeah. Webb, what about you? What about, and same thing, maybe, it, maybe I mean, maybe you wouldn't talk about esports, but for you, like, 
What do they think of your podcast? What would, how would you explain what a podcast is? Internet radio. And does that end the conversation? Pretty much. They, they get it then. And uh, the only, I mean, I have like uh, teenagers in my family, so they're the only ones I would really talk to about video games. The adults, probably not. They may ask my opinion on the game if they're like going to get it for their kid. But yeah, it really kind of ends there. What about esports? Esports, again, would probably be only with the teenagers in my family. Um, But yeah, I mean, kind of um, competitive video game playing in a crowd setting like in an arena setting usually like a more like competitive game like because because you're gonna you're gonna get the, the family members that know mario so it's like no it's not playing mario competitively yeah. like and that's a super smash or is it yeah, yeah see. <laughs> uh what were you Corey? so uh before we do before i do mine cause something i have to explain a lot to a lot of different people but this uh i wanted to give some of the best responses from the twitter and uh, Dat Boy Smasher says it's like a golf tournament for gaming, like League of Legends, CS:GO, and many more. Overwatch no, too. You gotta, you gotta take away the analogies. You think so? Yeah. I find that's the best way because to explain he, here's it. the no, because here's the way. Whenever I try to explain, when people ask me about uh, soccer compared to other sports, and I try to put the analogy with soccer and basketball, they still get a little confused. Well, if I you, would be too. I don't see. There's very similar. They're literally like they're so similar. Basketball and Quidditch, yeah, I could see that. No, just stop that. But the, the way you have to, you know, explain it to like if you're explaining it to a six year old, always, no matter how old they are, because if you can't explain it to a six year old, you don't understand it yourself. So it's the that's the rule I kind of go by. So I dumb it down as much as possible. That's why I was like, it's like just playing video games but you want to win every single time well you always want to win at video games mm. i never sit down and play a game and go man i really hope i lose <laughs> no not lose but i mean the objective of a video game <laughs> is to have fun so even if you do lose if you're still having fun you've already won but this one <laughs> is, mr rogers everybody yeah exactly <laughs> this is just this is just now it's you want to win every single time synergy like, super smash bros who uh, is a competitive smash player says i make money by playing children's fighting game that's pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Um, <laughs> a guy named at Wipeshot says, uh, quote, yes, people get paid for playing video games. And shut up. Not all sports involve smashing into each other. Pretty fair assessment. Because that's the fine. Like, playing competitive video games is one way. But a lot of people and a lot of people in my family get ups- upset. I'll at say upset at the, the word sport. sports. Yeah, yeah. It's not a sport. Okay, well, I know Aaron said no analogies, but let's look at NASCAR. Like, okay. they're just sitting there. and I've sport. tried this one, and, and, and I've had people argue that it is a sport. It's a sport because it takes, like, mental focus Excuse and agility. Me? Are you talking about NASCAR here? Yeah. Okay. You're driving at 200 miles no, an hour yeah, plus. That's, 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 you have to have focus. It's physical, too. It's physical, yeah, because it takes a physical toll on your body. Yeah. Okay. Just <laughs> like playing video games for long periods of time, it takes a physical toll. You have to have mental so focus. Then by, you have to have agility. By, but then by that um, logic, then you can make almost anything a sport, right? Like if we're having a DJ battle, that's a sport, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, okay, I'm just going with that M sport. I'm just going with your, your analogy, because you could then put that on a lot of different things. Hmm. If it causes mental and physical, you know, I would say competitive DJ. Yeah, I could say it's a sport, just like running is a sport. What about boxing? Definite sport. Mike Tyson would say it's not. Well, he said Mike Tyson's <laughs> fucking crazy. He yeah, al- okay. He's also the guy that said this he's gonna rape another man and eat his children. Well, I mean. Sport At- includes all forms of competitive physical activity or games which, through casual or organized participation, aim to use, maintain, or improve physical ability and skills while providing enjoyment to participants and, in some cases, entertainment for spectators. So the first part of that sentence discounts esports. The How? second, what? Read it, read it again. For the first includes part. all forms of physical activity. Right there. Or games which, through casual or organized participation... Yeah, so like so I said, the first part kind of goes, but then they come back around. Well, physical, well, then it goes, okay, so physical activity, that's the... Yeah, it's physical. That's the part that mm. I was bringing up now, Scott. sports is physical. No. It requires such precision and mechanics. No, to, I, th- to do some I of think the when they, I do. think when they mean 
physical. So, okay, so see, now you're looking at defining a definition. Like, physical involves, like, strain on your body. If you're putting... I, I would say any strain on your body would count as some sort of physical. So, video I think games... You're that, I think you're opening that up. You're opening it. When you when you put it that way, you're opening opening the door for a lot of things that are not sports to be sports. Like, like what? You're like chess. Chess is a sport. No, not not saying chess. Like if we're podcasting and we're going against another podcast, like we're that's a sport. We're sport now. Well, if you're co- if you're competing, yeah, if you're having a physical. podcast, so off, then anything yeah. you, know you compete tired? in yeah. is a sport. Is you what know you're how saying. tired my my jaw gets after talking for so long? It's physical activity. I, I feel like yeah. I think you guys are kind of. <laughs> I think you're just you're opening the door for everybody to be inclusive, and that's that's cool, guys. But it's it's not it's not happening that way. It's not I the dis- way you guys I, think. Uh, I disagree. I think if if NASCAR is a sport, then competitive video games is a sport. Because well, like me personally, I don't even think baseball is a sport. <laughs> <laughs> I could get hate all day. I could, okay, why I could do you care, think baseball is not a sport? I could care less. Anything <laughs> that you can play at the highest. When I found out what a double header was, and there's two games back to back, anything you play at the highest level of that sport back to back and not just be dead, then it's not a sport, my guy. Baseball, there's a lot of downtime. They're, For each player, there's a lot of downtime. Their record holders are like the fattest guys on the planet. You look yeah. at Babe Ruth. Yeah. The man smoked and ate like freaking beef steaks <laughs> every day all he had to and do was yeah. be strong enough to hit the ball out of the park so, don't get and then that. he could walk look at every other thing they have to be in some type of We're bowling tip top vi- no that's a that one you can be fat as long as your arms there's strong. huge bowlers and i've they, seen and they play i've seen the game. top ones i've seen i've seen top i've seen espn ones before and they they have lean guys that win those things mm. espn ocho I mean, there's Hold some. On. I mean, but Hold still, on. doesn't matter. There's, I guarantee you, there's fat guys. I bet you their their record holders aren't, you know, Jim Big Bones Bronskin. No, it's probably slim, tiny, you know. Mm. Yeah. One more from Twitter. Uh, guy at Zach MMD says you start slow by talking about Rocket League. You say it's soccer with cars. They'll understand that a lot better than trying to explain competitive Overwatch. That's that's true. That's a good strategy. Start start simple. Uh, I've come to explain it pretty much the same way. I it just say competitive video games. These guys are playing. Usually it legitimizes it when you tell people some of the prize pools. Yeah. You know, they're, they're like, it's not a sport. They're just showing up at the local Y and playing a little bit of video games. You're like, no, they're actually selling out arenas in L.A. playing League of Legends for millions of dollars. Yeah. You got to. Then, <sighs> then you tell them pro Overwatch players are making 150 k Yeah. And so it's like it's a legit I, in a league I, I've, that, I've, that's tied to cities now. And- I've I've put that up to people before. Yeah. Like you can make because even one of my coworkers like you know that what what do they make? And I'm like they make 50k like now with the Overwatch League. Yeah, they, minimum. That's the minimum. That, that's the minimum they make. Yeah, some are overpaid. Um, but in the and I was just talking about this in chat too because I was like somebody said esports is the future. And I was like, they got a long way to go, you know, because they're like, they're selling out stadiums. I hear that all the time. That's also a, it's also a marketing thing because WWE always goes around talking about we sell out stadiums. And I've been to a WWE where they've sold out a stadium and it wasn't sold out. But you got to look at the, what it's trying to be. If it wants to be in the, the, the big sports area for like, because I'm a, okay, so I'm a big soccer fan and I love the MLS. But I know it is nowhere near NFL and NBA type of numbers. Those are bringing in crazy amount of you know uh, viewers, money. When they sell out a stadium, when they say we sold out a stadium, they sold out mm-hmm. you know a, a gigantic stadium. That that's the that's the bar that you're trying to reach as a thing. So if you're saying that this is the future, that's cool. If you want that to be the future, you know their argument was. Um, I don't know a lot of the younger crowd nowadays that are into sports or participate in sports and stuff like that. So he thinks it's going to just phase out as time goes on and esports will be the the dominant thing. Uh, it's hard to argue cuz the the viewers and and the the money that's coming into it is still like massive and it's growing. 
compared to compared to where it was before and even compared like it, it definitely esports has surpassed hockey <laughs> well okay but still, I, I mean, that's Kool Aid on the street. When you talk to when hockey. you talk to any normal person, when you go to your Thanksgiving dinner and you tell your family, "Name me five sports," hockey will probably be one of them. It'll probably be football. Kind of by default, basketball. So- well, what do you mean? Like, I mean, unless they go, I don't know, football, of all baseball, the, of all basketball, the, okay, baseball, basketball, the three. Yeah, they'll go the three. 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 Now, what if they went soccer? Soccer. And what if they went tennis? No, they'll say hockey. Or okay, golf. what? They'll, they'll or golf. golf. My yeah. family would say golf. Yeah, see, because there's another thing. Hockey isn't a, a, a giant thing. Because I remember I was. Hockey's I was, a hold big on. thing. Hold what on. are you talking hold about? On. Hold on. Wayne I was with you. I was with you and that same feeling and excitement when soccer came out and MLS was like, we beat hockey. We're number one over hockey now. And I was like, yeah, all right, we're coming up. We're, you know, because yeah. so soccer is globally, you know, the number right. one sport. So I was like, cool, in my country now. I can, you know, be proud that now we're at least, you know, in the top four or whatever. But then I looked and I'm like, hockey is not that gigantic. You guys kind of just stepped over a puddle. So I think it's a big deal. And, 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 and I think it's a trend like it's it's moving up. Like, that's the point. It is bigger than a big sport. And so what's next on the list? You know, NBA, I'd already say it's bigger than golf. Some of those other ones you named probably aren't even as big as hockey. Tennis. Tennis is definitely not as big as hockey. And where are we talking? We're talking also, about in America. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, it also depends on the region. Yeah, because I was about you to go, say. You go to Canada, uh, and the bit you hockey Hockey is, is number one. It's like the well, national yeah, I mean, yeah. sport. I mean, it goes by region all day. Esports yeah. is much bigger already in Korea than it is here. Oh, yeah. So, like, I'm talking about here in our backyard when we go to our family gatherings, and we're going toe-to-toe with Uncle John who doesn't believe that esports is a real thing. And I say, hey, I make a full-time career off it, so it must be real. And uh, then my family insults me for just having Twitter as my job. But that's that's my struggle. That's we my all have struggle. a cross to bear. We all have our crosses to bear. <laughs> what? You, yeah, and okay. it's even harder usually to explain an org. Like when they say, so how do you make money? Well, I have to. I use the analogy. I'm like, well, you know the Sacramento Kings? Yeah. A lot of the same people who own that also own this company. This, and yeah. as a team, instead of having one Kings team, they have one for these different games. And then it gets more complicated, and then we're at square one. Yeah, it's, cause, yeah, explaining it that way is really complicated because you can explain like the NBA. So you have the NBA, and then you have different franchises, where with esports, you have multiple NBAs with franchises that have different franchises underneath the franchises you, it's still the wild West. it's closest it it's closest to soccer because that's literally the analogy that's what you just said soccer has multiple franchises everywhere and multiple leagues with smaller franchises of themselves under them as well so you have like the la galaxy which then has then sub teams has underneath LA galaxy but, too. but, but if, yeah right. that play in a whole different league it works to the layman but where that doesn't even make sense is because like okay what's what's the big what's your favorite european team my favorite European team? Yeah. What's the biggest team in Europe that you like? Oh, shoot. Chelsea, Manchester United. Manchester. No, not Manchester. Man U. Probably right now. Chelsea. Uh, would probably be Clinton. Borussia Dortmund. Oh, you had to say some fucking obscure thing. It's name, not obscure. Name, name, yeah, it's obscure. Name like a one that people know that I could actually say. So Manchester then you just United. say, you guys said it already, Manchester United. If okay. you know Manchester United, why don't you just go with that? Because I wanted you to give me one. I did. I gave you Borussia Dortmund. And I'm not going to say that. It's one of the best teams in the Borussia Bundesliga. Dortmund. It sounds like a, 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 a sim word. It sounds oh like a word gosh. they'd say in the sims. <laughs> Uncultured people. Borussia Un- Dortmund? No. Un- they get stuck in the pool. <laughs> yeah. Borussia Dortmund. Borussia Dortmund. Borussia Un- Dortmund. Cultured. Swine. And now we know what the title of the show is. Borussia Dortmund. Oh, you'll probably get some extra clicks, and they'll be pissed. That's going to be my new game. <laughs> when they see that it, there's nothing about yes, Borussia Dortmund. I'm going to make an alt Overwatch account, Called and it's going to be Borussia Dortmund. It's, I'm going to change it. It's going to be Borussia Dorkman. Borussia Dorkman. Hey, that's yeah. not bad. Uh, you don't want the Germans on you. <laughs> well, we beat them before. Yeah, we'll do it again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. So, Man U. They have a team that's really good that plays in one league, though, right? Uh, yes, man, you, I believe, plays in one league. They can only play in one league. They can't go play the MLS as well. Not in a regular season, but they can. They, they, they can play d- against each other, but they can't compete and win the championship in MLS. No, but there are other 
orgs under them, under Man U, that do play in other leagues. But No, but the same U. player, the star player from Borussia Dortmund can't also win that championship and then go over with his team and win MLS. No. Jeff Dortmund can't play for Borussia Dortmund. No, 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 no. no. Okay. See, in, like in CSGO, for example, the team we have is in the ECS regular season. They're in the ESL regular season. So you can actually compete in multiple, and they're, both the seasons happen at the same time. So they play; they're playing the same teams on different nights for different like prizes. It's it's confusing as hell. Anyways, everyone listening, if you're gonna talk esports and video games with your family, good luck. We know it's difficult. Godspeed. Godspeed. That's what we're here for. Just pop on your headphones, listen to the latest episode of Video Game Bang, and everything's gonna be all right. Web's telling the news. Sponsored by Aaron. Oh, Aaron's right, Aaron. telling the news. This will be great. Destiny 2 has been canceled, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Should be Aaron written, rewrote history. <laughs> Aaron's writing the news. Uh, as of November 22nd, Animal Crossing Pocket, everybody, has been released on your phones. <gasps> yeah. Oh. The popular game that was made popular back in, I don't know, 2002 or something like that? I don't something know, like that. on yeah. the GameCube, uh, has now made its way to your mobile device as a free-to-play game from Nintendo themselves. Wait, what's the limitations? What are we paying? Where do they get their money? Uh, if you want to breathe in the game, you have to pay $5. That makes sense. Wait, what? Yes, they charge you by air. Okay. So if you don't, your character suffocates, dies. You're lying to me. Have you downloaded the game? No. Then you have no way of knowing. <laughs> I saw the best thing on Twitter. Um, one of like the big Destiny players, he uh, he tweeted out, "Here's my friend code if you want to play Animal Crossing." And it was like a like a screenshot of notes. You scroll all the way down to the bottom. It says, "Get your life together. Go play a real game." <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, it was great. Um, I, I didn't play it. What What's the concept? It's kind of like it was like one of those simulators, right? But they're like dogs. Here's and the cats the concept. You're um. Do you farm? You're held in a cult. Uh, you come to a town, <laughs> and a guy forces you to uh, do tasks to pay rent to him for a house that you didn't even agree upon wanting. Um. Farming things, doing odd jobs. Uh, it's very, very Taking sick. Kool-Aid. It's a very sick game. Is it really? Like you have to do jobs to pay your rent? Is that seriously how what how the game works? Yes. That is, that's real life. That's not what I. That's kind of why I stopped playing The Sims. It was fun when you were a kid. Yeah. You know to pretend you're an adult, but now when you're actual adult, you don't want to play a game where you go to work, and then your boss fucks with you and you get fired. Like your sim comes home all depressed, makes you depressed. I don't like that. So then, I mean, it's a it's so it's a popular game. This is like one of those games that people are huge, waiting yeah. for. Like they played on the GameCube for freaking years. Even when the GameCube was kind of just phased out, the people were still trying to get Animal Crossing. When it's huge on Game Boy too, and it was huge on Game Boy as well. Yeah, um, then bringing it to the phone as a free to play game because I know we said this for I don't know a year maybe that Nintendo is already trying to move into the mobile mm-hmm. space and stuff like that. I think some people might be disappointed because they wanted a full flip. Like, I want one on the, the Switch. I don't want a free-to-play mobile game because some people think free-to-play is a bad taste in your mouth because they're not really focusing on the gameplay as opposed to how can we make money off of this thing. Yeah, I mean, that's not wrong. That All right, sense. for those of you who are dumb like me and want an actual... Uh, explanation of the game, although Aaron's is probably pretty accurate. It says Animal Crossing is a community simulation video game series developed by Nintendo in which the human player lives in a village inhabited by anthropomorphic animals carrying out various activities including fishing, bug catching, fossil hunting, etc. The series is notable for its open-ended gameplay and extensive use of the game system's internal clock and calendar to simulate the real passage of time. So you cult. go, you go on, it's a cult. you go on quests with anamorphs to pay rent. Anthropomorphic beings, anamorphs. I'm shortening it. Okay, that's not what that shortens down to. No relation to the book. Yeah. Okay. Books. 
Uh, I'm definitely not not I'm not the target demographic for this one. And it's a cutesy graphics. You know, it's not really so. It's not Sims. It's really just kind of. It's basically they look like me's, right? Like the the Wii avatar characters. Yeah, before Kinda, before yeah. that came out. Before that came out, but they're like the big heads, kind of. They don't give a shit about the bodies. The arms kind of float around, type of thing. It's like a caricature. Caricature. Uh, what else we got? Uh, Pokemon Go players catch 500 million Pokemon in under two days. Holy hell. Yep, spurred by Pokemon Go latest event, players caught 500 million pocket monsters in less than two days. Developer Niatic Kickstarter Global Catch Challenge on Sunday, inviting fans to collectively ca- uh, catch 3 billion Pokemon, which, let's be honest, this was not going to happen. How many did they actually get? They 500 mil. 500 mil out of a 3 billion? Challenge, yes. Wow. It's just like the Million Man March. We knew a million guys weren't going to show up. Yeah. Black people weren't going to show up to that. Wow. Let's, 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 I'm glad you made that joke. Uh, they knew. Come at me, black delegation. <laughs> exactly. I just renewed my membership. Don't you? I get to say <laughs> stuff like that. I'm up to date. <laughs> yeah. I got all my, my, my stamps. Don't you? Yeah, wow. exactly. Uh, more Pokemon. Uh, everyone nabs uh, dished out actually region locked Pokemon for this one. So they oh get, no, did they really? Yeah, they lit some uh, out of the bag. Wait, is this over? Yeah, it's gone, man. Oh my god, I missed yeah. it. It was only forty eight hours. Oh, why didn't you guys tell me about this shit when it happened? Why didn't you look it up? That would have actually made me play. Why didn't you look it up? And I bet there's well, a look, you still of- have a chance. Okay. Because Chansey? it was restricted in the oceanic area, so maybe they'll do their own one over there. Oh, I can go over there and you play? You can go over there and maybe they'll... You can go to the oceanic region. That sucks. That really sucks. Uh, I, I, My wife still plays it religiously. Uh, Madison Mata, who, who's a great friend of ours, plays all the fucking time. She's in the Discord, and they travels out with her husband and kid to go catch Pokemon every day. Like, it's still a thing to uh, a lot of people. What is it, though? It is. <laughs> Even though it lost that like mainstream thing, which if, let's be honest, it wasn't going to keep it that long anyways because people move on to other shit. But I'd say the game is far from a so, failure. So I, it's not going to be shutting down anytime soon. So sometimes I go for walks and um, I'll walk like downtown and you know how people walk with their phone on. And sometimes I kind of just look over just to see if that's what they're doing. If they're Pokemon going. Yeah. yeah. It's never that. It's never that what anymore. A year ago, I don't know. It's just them either browsing the web or you know texting somebody or something like that. But it, yeah, like a year ago when it was popping, I used to see every every other person you'd see on the street was Pokemon going. And then I remember when it was dying off, it was a little sad to see the stragglers walk around the park playing <laughs> so the, the yeah. final one. Yeah, just the little final ones. I gotta catch the last three. I <laughs> and I was like, it's over, man. It's over. It's over. Have a seat. Uh, it'll come back once the new gen comes out, which is well, supposed to be pretty soon. Right? In his next story, Pokemon Go is making major changes to its raids. Maybe this will bring him back. What's it doing? Uh, it says Nidek has announced changes to Pokemon Go raids, designed even for playing uh, field of tra- for all playing fields of the tra- uh, players, uh, pleasing Magikarp fans in the process. The raid system, particularly EX raids, has faced criticism uh, by the way... I mean, because of the way it seems favored certain players and locations. I've never done the raids. Have you guys done the raids? I've done a few. Yeah. They're fun. Okay. They're like uh, a giant, uh, what is it called, legendary uh, Pokemon. Uh, That's the time I hung out with Madison. Uh, We went with her and her husband, Mm -hmm. and uh, they took us to like three different locations, and we fought the Pokemon. On the first one, you have to have like a special little chip token to fight it. Okay. And then after you and everyone who's there defeat the Pokemon, you actually get a chance to catch it. So they give you these special. So it's like, like you're buying a ticket to go do something else. You don't spend money. Well, no, no, no. But I, that's kind of like the the whole thing. Like you have to get this first. Yeah, to you get do this that. little okay. token, and then that uh, enables you to contribute to the battle. And then after you defeat the Pokemon, uh, you get these special golden balls. There's like ten of them, and you get these special berries. I think too to kind of weaken them, and you try and catch it with those limited. And I guess the catch rate is like something 2%. crazy low. Yeah, like two, five. Well, it says, first up, there's a big jump in quality of rewards for raid participation. Trainers will get a golden raspberry for completing raid battles. And while the number of portions and revives rewarded, I mean awarded of completion will decrease, their quality will improve. Trainers will receive stardust for taking part in a raid battle, whether they win or lose. The likelihood of getting fast 
uh, and charge technical machines for tier three plus raid battles has increased. Uh, but the bad news, or the best news, is Magikarp is making its triumphant return to tier one battles. I don't know what that means and why people are excited. Maybe I, just because they're harder to find in Magikarps. I mean, if you don't live by the water, yeah. Who doesn't live by water? <laughs> that has says internet. The, says the Californian. Yeah, I mean, like, actually, it's, it's funny when I hear people who's like, "I've never seen the Pacific Ocean." I'm like. It's just a giant body of water. Who you know, cares? As a West Coaster, <laughs> yeah. I used to say that about the Atlantic, and I think I've, I saw the Atlantic for the first time this, this year, mm-hmm. like in the last year. I was not impressed. It's What's more impressive, the Pacific giant or the Atlantic? Body of water. Oh, the Pacific is way more impressive. Yeah, what makes it more impressive? The, <laughs> the water. The quality. <laughs> the quality. Quality of water? The yeah. quality of the water. Okay. Yeah. The shimmering blue seas. Okay. The, what, the, what, the, the usable beaches. What color is the Atlantic? Uh, Gray. I guess it, shit well, color. Well, first, yeah, cause was, hold on, because he saw it. From, he saw it from New York, so it probably was. No, that was the Hudson. That I was saw, the no, Atlantic. I saw it from a few different locations. Let's be fair. I saw it from Jersey, oh, okay. Atlantic City. Okay, so there you, you go. Yeah, yeah. It was terrible. So, yeah. Yeah. I did go up to Maine and saw it too, and there it was better, but still no, no Pacifico, no Pacifico. I mean, it's uh, sorry, East know. Coast. You're screwed. I tell everybody all the time, Californians don't know too much about the East Coast, so don't assume that, you know, I couldn't tell you where New Hampshire is on a, on a map. Okay. <laughs> That's just because you're dumb. No. If I hold it's up a map, public school if I hold you. up a map with no indications on there, you can give me the general area, I bet, yes, but I bet you will not pick the right New Hampshire area. Do it right now. Pull it up on your phone. Let me see. I'm not going to type anything, so I can't move any things to show any trickery. Pull look, up a map. Look, I will point his, to New Hampshire. Look at his. Uh, look at his. Uh, his computer over there. Look at it. Come ch- check. I don't need. I know where New Hampshire is. I can confirm that the screen is not showing. I think this is just uh, the poor education system at Grant High, or no, whatever elementary a, school you went to. I had to take a test to do all states and capitals, so. Do you know where he is? So will you know if he's wrong or not? I have maps next to me. I have, okay. I'm the smarter person with Google. <laughs> That's what that is. You wow. are the You've allowed like the crutch of Google just to, to completely warp your mind. Or to vindicate me from all the... Vindicators 3, y'all! <laughs> exactly. Wow. Uh, that's Why are you it. doing that? Yeah. You hear the ending music. Uh, we're going to knock out this final challenge so I can finally, for once and all, prove that I am smarter than Aaron Carter. Uh, this is it. This is the test I've been waiting for for five years. Have you now? Yeah. It's We're going to knock test. this bad boy out. That's sad. We're going to knock this out. I'm going to prove that for once and for all, I am the brains of this operation. Oh, is this the map right here? Yeah. You, well, you should be able to point to it, right? Whew, New Hampshire. Good old <laughs> yeah. New Hampshire. <laughs> now, I know it's roughly. Let me see. Hold on. Right here in this yeah, northeastern, uh, yeah. it's up in this quadrant. Mm-hmm. I have a 50 50 shot because it's one of these two. I'm gonna go with that one. Okay. I'm gonna go with that one. Let's see which one, the one next to Maine. Let me the see. one right next Let me to Maine. The one? one next to Maine. Yeah, there's on, 40 is, next to Maine. This is the easiest thing. Main, yeah. There's 49 I I, next I to I Maine. Did it. Well, we'll wait for the for Aaron to find the results. But while we do that, thank you so much for listening to the podcast. As always, you can listen to the show on iTunes, the Google Market Store, anything that you can find a podcast on. You could probably find the video game Bang. And if you can't, message me, and I will direct you on how you can find it. And if there's a rating system, if you're listening to the show right now, you're in an app probably, look at the app and see if there's like a star system. Here, I'll wait. Now, if you see any stars, click on the five-star button. That will help us so much in getting more people to listen to the show. Tell your friends about it. When you're sitting at uh, Thanksgiving dinner and your grandpappy asks you, you know, what TV shows you're into or what you're doing, tell them, I listen to podcasts. I listen to the video game Bang based in Sacramento, California. They're so fun and entertaining, and they teach me stuff, and I'm all up to date with all my video game knowledge. Uh, Also, if you're in Sacramento, go to Oblivion Comics and Coffee, bitch! It's the best comics and coffee you're going to find in the area. Uh, We're going to have a lot of fun here in December. Uh, If you're in the Northern California area, stop by the Sac Gamer Sexpo 
that's it. It's that time of year. We're going to have a, uh, a photo booth. Ivy Doom Kitty's going to be here. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to give away a lot of shit during our panel, so you don't want to miss it. We'll have a, um, we may have some other little surprises, too. We'll the- have a uh, 50 states and 50 capitals test. Did I win? You got it. I got it! I'm smarter than Aaron! No, you're definitely not smart. That's one thing I'm thankful for. You know where New Hampshire is over me. <laughs>